In this video, I will show you how to create something like this on the right side. Because on the left side, there's just a regular uh, fractured object, which just falls down and breaks. But on the right side, it's the same fracture, but it's a little bit more realistic. When it falls down on its corner like this, there's a high chance that there will be these smaller smaller pieces because of the way the force is distributed in real life. The one on the right looks a little more realistic than the one on the left. And I will show you how to create this. It's very easy, very simple, and it's gonna just make your uh, fractures look better. So the first thing is to create the, the ground, the, the plane. Next, I will create a cube. I will make it a little bit bigger, higher. Next, I will add the Voronoi fracture. And you can already see that the cube is separated into pieces. Then I will add a rigid body tag to the fracture. Again, something didn't work. And then I will add a collider tag to the floor so it can, it hits the floor. Now I will turn it on its side a little bit so it hits something from a different angle. And now I will create another one. And this one is going to be the better looking one, the more realistic looking one uh, simulation, the re more realistic looking simulation. And the trick is just to go in here in the sources point generator and select the exponential. And as you can see, it means that the, the points are not separated uniformly equally around this object, but they are separated in a way where, in an exponential way, yeah, and you can change the, you can change the part where the points are the densest, the, the, the amount of points is uh, most dense, and in this case it's plus y, no, not, not y, but y, <laughs> y it's in Latvian language, y axis, uh, z axis, and uh, you just have to play around with this uh, until you see the see that the smallest parts are on the side on the corner which you want to have the fracture which will be contacting the ground first like in this this case and now you can already see that it's working this is this is actually all there is if you want to see the materials I made um, with the rev redshift I will you know what I will just I will create a little, I will change the materials a little bit so it's easier to see. Let's change the colorize fragments. And now it's already easier to see the difference because when it hits with the corner, it looks like the force is really smashing this corner more than the upper part. But here it's just like uh, everything is equally. Uh, disconnecting equally. And um, add some materials to these cubes. There's a very nice thing when you can make a selection of the inside faces. Let's do it for both of them. And you can create another material for the inside face. And let's make it yellow. I don't know if it's gonna look good, but I'm gonna try. And now if you add it here and you in the selection place, you add the selection, you will see, I'll do it for the both. No, not this one. Yeah, okay, yeah, it's the same. And now you can see that the, the inside faces are colored differently. And then the example I showed you in the beginning, uh, there's just some redshift materials with emission and uh, yeah. So, this is it. Thanks for watching. If you like this simple tip, then just, yeah, uh, subscribe, comment. If you didn't like, then just, uh, you know, go outside and watch the sunset or something. 